Yes, thank you, thank you very much, my brothers from training team. My big brothers, let me say my big brothers. My big brothers, Sir Ian, Sir Adrian, and Sir Jason. Well, anyway, before we even start, it is my privilege and honor to be one of the speakers, lineup speakers today for each and every one of you for our kickoff 2021. If you are excited right now for your 2021, guys, throughout our session, very short session with me, I would like to have a request for each and every one of you. Is that okay, guys? Everyone from Africa, from Europe, from Asia Pacific, wherever country you are into, all right? I want to be the first to greet you a happy, happy 2021. And for most of you, who are actually being part of my trainings for the year of 2020, guys. You know me, we always start and prep up our training with a state of gratitude, state of thankfulness, state of gratefulness, and excitement and passions. And that's why right now, every now and then, when I say something throughout our session, when you hear something that you like, when you agree into something and you learn something, you type down there, yes, but you don't just say yes right now. What I want you to do is this, very simple, all right? What, you, what, you, what will you type is that, yes, 2021. Is that okay with you guys? Is that okay? Every time you hear something, when I ask you something, type down there, yes, 2021. Is that okay, guys? All right, come on, type it down there. Yes, 2021. We want to attract. I want to congratulate each and every one of you because you have surpassed you have speak up yourself. You have stood your ground for the year of 2020. And right now, we are looking forward for the best years for each and every one of you. And that's why you need to type down there, yes, 2021. Come on, everybody. Yes, yes, 2021. All right. Right now, okay, before anything else, I'm, I believe most of you, um, if, if you know me before, guys, uh, most of you know already that before I started in this industry, I am a medically inclined nurse in profession. But unfortunately, fortunately, I haven't had the chance to practice my profession. And I knew and I fell in love with our industry of empowerment. And you know, let me share to you something personal. When I was still studying nursing, you know, one of my favorite personal love subjects out of the many subjects that I have in nursing is actually psychology, right? I love to learn and understand why people do what they do. I love to learn and understand what is really happening inside between our ears. And you know, before I don't understand why, but now for 10, 11 years, I've been so blessed to be here with each and every one of you guys for Empowered Consumerism, Economy Driver Plan 2.0. Right now I understand because what I want to share with you today is that I want you to understand guys, each and every one of you, that we are in the business. We are in the industry of building people. That's what our business is all about. So one of our essentials, one of our fundamental learnings and skills is knowing more about the psychology of human beings. If you know and understand why people do what they do, if you understand what is happening between the, these ears, guys, it will be very easy for you to build long-lasting relationships. It will be very easy for you to build rapport, to build trust, to understand your prospects, to understand your leaders, your, your partners in the business, right? And that's why it's one of, I believe it's one of the most essential skills that you need to have, how, how to connect, how to build rapport, how to build the trust. But again, before anything else, as you can see here, I want to show you my topic right now. This is a full lifetime process of learning. But let me just show you a glimpse of it in the next few 20 minutes. I want to show you a few glimpses of these topics, of these wonderful topics here about breaking your barriers within. I want you to grasp as much as possible. Take notes. Type down there, yes, 2021. Is that okay? All right, I want you to grasp as much as possible. But this is what I want you to do. For the year of 2021, you don't have to worry because we will dissect more of these topics to each and every one of you because we will be together more here in our official page for the year of 2021. Our board of directors, our vice presidents, our training team and our management have prepared a lot of programs and modules for each and every one of you for the whole year of 2021. We will be growing together. Would you like that? If you like that, type down there, yes, 2021, all right? If you want to grow with us, type there, yes, 2021. Now, right now, what I truly believe is this, why I call it breaking your barriers within. Because I truly believe we have two kinds of world. We have this external world and internal world. And the challenge is this, most of the people would like to change things externally in their life. They want to change their results, their outcome, in their relationships, in their career, in their business. They want to change a lot of things externally right away. 
without them knowing that the first thing that they need to build is their relationship with themselves. You need to build first your relationship to yourself. When was the last time you speak to yourself? When was the last time you meditate? When was the last time you assess what is happening to your life? Remember this, your reality is a mirror of your internal world. Whatever is happening and manifesting in your external environment and your reality in your life is actually a reflection of what is inside within you. So before you can break through in your finances, in your career, in your business, in EC, in Edplan 2.0, in your community, in your group, in your network, you need first to break the barriers within you. Are you with me? If you agree with me, type down, yes, 2021. Come on, everybody. Yes, 2021. You can raise your hand like that. Attract it. Attract all the positiv positivism for this year. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. All right? The good thing is this. We want to start and prime this wonderful, awesome event kickoff training because we have prepared a lot of main courses. I'm your appetizer today, by the way. I'm your primer and your appetizer. There will be some main courses later. Our great board of directors and our vice presidents and some of our top earners will be sharing to you some skills, some wonderful ideas and concepts. But to prime this up, let's all talk about what really is holding you back inside. What does really holds you back? What really holds you back to become a top earner? What really holds you back to become a Millionaire's Club member? What really holds you back to reach your best version of yourself? Let me ask you something. Every one of you, wherever you are right now around the world, do you believe that there's still a highest form of yourself? Do you believe there's a better version of yourself? For me, personally, I believe there's still a highest form of Miko Imson. There's still a better version of Ian Bersenas. There's still a highest form of Jason Lino, of Adrian Del Rosario. For everyone watching right now, there is a highest form of yourself. There's a better version of you. If you agree with me, type down there, yes, 2021. Now, that's what we want to manifest. We want to release that full potential. So what really holds you back? Now, I'll be giving you two main excuses of most of the people that what that their excuses, what holds them back. Number one, most of the people, their excuse is they don't know what and how to do how to do it, how to be in the peak performance. They don't know the skills, the informations. And for most people who have this kind of excuse, most of them, maybe the one who are starting in our business, the one who are new distributors in EC, most of them are lacking in technical skills, technical information. But you know what, guys? The truth and the reality is this is not an excuse today. How do I say? Because today we are living in a generation that we are more connected than ever. We are living in a generation that information is readily available. In a, in a click of a finger, you can know anything right now. And that is why this is not an excuse. It's more about your willingness, your willingness to invest your time and effort to learn those, those skills, those technicalities. It's all about your willingness. But for me personally, the main, the main barrier, the main excuse, the main reason why people holds back, all right, is for me is this, the number two. And look at this. Most of the people, all right, they already know how and what to do to become successful, to be on the pick, but they still don't do it. All right? Do you agree with me? If yes, type yes, 2021. Who will agree that most of you know? Most of the people know where to go. Most of the people know what they want. Most of the people know how to do it. They have the tools to do it but they still don't do it. Do you agree on that, right? Now, let me show you the reasons why. Guys, it's not your fault. Most of the time, the reasons why we don't do it is because as if there is this invisible force that is holding us back. And for me, I call this the SEEDS syndrome, right? The, that, the, the one that holds us back, I call it the SEEDS syndrome. Now, for medically inclined people, don't get me wrong, okay? This SIDS syndrome is not the sudden infant death syndrome, all right? This is a different syndrome that I want to share with you in life and in business. This SIDS syndrome is all about your self-limiting fear and doubt, your inconsistency, your distractions, and also your self-sabotage. There are people in our business who cannot even start. They join the business, but they cannot even start doing the business because there are some inner voices telling themselves that you cannot do it. You're not good enough. 
You, you are not good at that business. You're not good in people. You're not good in talking. There are some inner voices telling them that. Those are your self-limiting fears and doubts. There are either even some people who, who have the courage to start. They have the courage to start, but their challenge is that they start, but they don't finish what they started. Those people are inconsistent. And let me tell you this before I even continue. Let me tell you, I'm training each and every one of you this. I'm sharing this to you, not because I'm a master of this. I want to grow with you together. We want to grow this whole year of 2021. So I want you to show your vulnerability. If you are relating with the SID syndrome, if one or two of this is part of your syndromes, type down there, yes, 2021. Because for me, one of the best steps for you to improve, for you to develop yourself, is to become aware about your weaknesses. Accept your weaknesses. Accept your cracks. Know and be aware about your weaknesses. And that's the first step to improve. And for me, I'll be raising my hand in this number two. I'm a kind of person who have a lot of ideas. I love to start systems, programs, but the challenge is that I love to start something, but I don't finish it. I'm so inconsistent, and that's one thing that I want to improve right now. So I want you to show your vulnerability because that's the first step for you to improve this year of 2021. Come on, if you are relating with the SID syndrome, whatever SID syndrome you have right now, type down there. Declare it so we can remove it in your system, in your programming, in your patterns. Number three is distractions. There are people who start and do their best massively. They finish 90%, but all of a sudden, they settle down. They hold, hold out. And what happens is that they become distracted and start another thing, and they go ground back to zero. Some people, they, they break through in life. They make breakthroughs. They, they, they break through in finances, in career, in business. But all of a sudden, after becoming successful in life, they make some self-sabotaging actions, response and reactions into them. They sabotage their relationships, their family. They sabotage themselves to their finances, to their career. And you know what, guys? This is not thing, these are some things that I want to share with you, not to bring you down, but for us to become aware. Because let me tell you, all of us are vulnerable in this. Even all the people you follow that are most successful today, the most successful entrepreneur, the most successful business people are still vulnerable in this SIDS syndrome. The only difference is that the most successful people today have some methodologies. They have some strategies. They have some systems. They, they have systems to bring out their inner power so that they can overcome this SIDS syndrome. And that's what we want to talk about right now. The truth is, the truth and the reality is, I don't want you to resent yourself. The first step of frustration and depression is the moment you resent yourself for your mistakes and your failures. Let me make you understand, you are not your issues. Again, let me repeat, guys. You are not your issue. Whatever pain, struggles happened in your past, happened in the year of 2020, whatever loss, whatever pain, whatever struggles, you are not your issues. The truth and the reality is those issues are all coming from your programmings, from your patterns, from your model. The truth and the fact is there's nothing wrong with your life, but there's something that we need to improve in your model of life. What we need to improve is your modeling of life. How do you see life? How do you perceive life? What is your map towards the life right now? That's what we need to improve. You are not your issues. You know, one of my love, my, one of my favorite metaphor here is, I don't know if you've followed and watched the mov movie of um, Avengers. It's a Marvel comic uh, movie. And one hero here that I love, so one fictional superhero here that I love is the Hulk. The Hulk is the only hero who have two personalities. I believe you're familiar with this if you've watched this video. Okay, he have Dr. Banner and the Hulk, the monster Hulk. And as you can notice in the early part of the video, right, Dr. Banner is the analytical one, the logical one, the controlled. And the Hulk, especially is the bigger one, the stronger one, the, the superhero, right? But he is uncontrolled. He's emotional. He's unlogical, illogical. So I'm telling you this, guys. This is like a metaphor. This is similar to our conscious and our subconscious mind. So even you consciously know what you want, even you consciously want to achieve success, even you know what to do to become fit, to become healthy, but your subconscious mind is corrupted. Your subconscious mind have its own programming, have its own pattern, and it's bigger, it is stronger, right? So that's why even you want to diet, even you want to become successful, even you know, you, you know what to do in online marketing. When you are alone, what happened is that, you know, your hulk, all right, always wins over your doctor banner. 
So what I want to say is you and me have our own hulks. <laughs> are you getting my point? Now, where is this all coming from? Our subconscious patterns and programs are coming from our models in life. And most of the time when we were young, our model that we grew up into, our caretakers, your parents, your grandparents, your environment, your community, that is where you are getting those resources, those experiences, your successes, your failures. Those are your patterns and programs in life until today. And the challenge is, is that what if those programs are corrupted? What if you grew up in a community with prejudice? What if you grew up in a community who loves to play the blaming game? What if you grew up in a community who, who loves to worry, who, who are warriors, who are depressed, right? Who are abusive. Now the challenge is this, you cannot choose how you will born and where you will born. But guys, remember this, especially for the parents out there, our easy community parents out there, remember this, from one to eight years old, most of the children, they, their conscious mind, their doctor banner is not yet fully developed. What is fully developed alone is the, is the operating system, the subconscious, the hulk. And the weakness of your hulk, it is strong, it is unlimited. But the weakness of your hulk, the weakness of your subconscious is that it doesn't know how to filter what is good from what is bad. So either it's right or wrong, your subconscious will store it and program it on itself. And it will be part of your programming until you become old. That's why in our language in Tagalog, sa mata ng bata, lahat ay tama. So for your parents out there, you need to be very careful about what you let your children hear, see, or experience. Because whatever they grasp, they store in their subconscious will be part of their programming until they grow old. And it will be a corrupted program. Now the good news is this, what can we do about this? Now the good news is let me go back to Hulk. As you can notice on the last part of Avenger, on the end game, if you have watched this video, if not, People are in Africa, if not yet, try to research it in Google, all right? So you can understand what I'm talking about, right? Now, in the last part of the end game of Avengers, you know, Dr. Banner have managed to control his hawk. Have managed, he have done some strategies. He have done some mindfulness meditations and some systems on how he can control his hawk. And you know what happened? He released and manifest his full potential. He released and manifest the true form the highest form of himself. Now, what I want to ask you is this. Are you ready for it? This 2021, are you ready to manifest your highest form? Are you ready to become the best version of yourself? You know, let me quote Napoleon Hill in saying, the reason man may become the master of his own destiny is because he has the power to influence his own subconscious mind. If you can just tap the power of your subconscious mind, you know what I'm telling you guys? I'm telling you, you will be on the peak performance. I'm telling you, you will be on your highest, highest form. Now, let me share to you, all right, these three powers. There's three inner powers that each and every one of us have. Whatever background you have, whatever history you have, whatever pain, struggles, whatever, whatever background you have, there's nothing wrong with whatever happened in your past, right? All of those happen for a reason. Life is not happening to us, but life is happening for us. Whatever happened in your past is something that made that something that happened to prepare you for you for, for, for you to become you who you are today. Now let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. This three powerful powers is this. Let me be short on this. Number one is the power of perception. You know, I love these powerful words. In fact, I made this page, this group page, and you know, right now we're having some special trainings and sessions ex exclusively for our easy community, right? All about power of perception. Because I believe life. It's a matter of perception. Whatever is happening around you, that, that, that circumstances is not there to make your life hard. Whatever is happening around you is neutral. It's more about how you respond to it. That's power of perception. When there is a rain falling right now, does the rain ruin your day? Or the rain is good and a blessing for you because it will grow the vegetations in your farm, right? What, 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 how do you perceive things happening in your life? What is your map towards life? That is very important for you to become successful, for you to become a leader, for you to manage other people. You cannot manage other people if you don't even know how to manage yourself. Power of perception. You know, let me quote Buddha in saying, what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. And what you imagine, you create. Is that right? If, if you think positively, if your perception about things, whatever it is, is it, is it positive or negative? If you perceive it positively, your emotions will be positive. Whatever that is, whatever crisis that is, 
your perception will be positive. Your actions will be positive and your result will be positive. But if you perceive things negatively, and what happens? Your emotions will always be negative. Your actions will follow and your life will always be miserable. Your reality will be miserable. You know, like what they say, problem will never become a problem until you perceive it to be one. Is that right? So it's all about the power of perception. Now, what perception you need to align right now? Number one is your self-perception. Self-perception, guys, can you type it down there? Self-perception. Self-perception is your self-image, your self-concept, your blueprint of who you are. How do you see yourself? What is your self-concept? You know what, guys? Let me be real to you guys right now. There are a lot of people. Consciously, they want to become successful. But their challenge is this. They are stuck in a self-image that they are a failure. They grew up, when they were young, they failed grades. They fail in school. They are miserable. Their parents separated. They are, they are victim of abuse and whatever reasons. And you know what? They are stuck on that mentality. They are stuck on becoming, having a self-image of themselves that they are a failure. That's their self-perception. So if that's your self-image, you know, whatever happens in your life, right, you'll always be failure. But if imagine if your self-image is you believe in yourself every morning, try to have a habit in looking at the mirror, looking in your eyes, and be passionate about it, be sincere, telling yourself, talking to yourself and saying, I'm successful, I am great, I am awesome, I am unlimited, I am the master of my ship, I'm the master of my life, I'm a co-creator of my life. We have a creator, but you are blessed to become a co-creator of your life, right? If you always tell that to yourself every morning, sometimes you need to fool yourself. Even that is not what's happening in your reality. Like what the Bible said, guys, not only Buddha, but the Bible said. What did they say? They say, let the weak man say they are strong. Let the poor man say they are rich. Despite of whatever is happening in your current situation right now, despite of however, however weak, however sick you are, if you think and believe and perceive that you are strong, you will be strong. Even how poor you are today, if you think and believe and you are convinced, right? And you see that you are wealthy, I am telling you, you will be wealthy. You will be blessed. And I'm telling you, we have a proof for that. For 14 long years, even you ask all the 15,000 multimillionaires of empowered consumerism and economy driver plan 2.0, ask them whatever country they are into, I'm telling you, all of them started in the right perception. All of them were poor before. All of them were fed up of poverty, of suffering. Life is too short to suffer. But you know what? All of them started in perceiving their dream car, perceiving their dream house, their lifestyle. And today, it manifested in their life. Self-perception is so powerful. And I'm telling you, your self-perception will greatly affect as well your perception to others, how you perceive others, right? Your self-perception, your self-image will reflect on how you react, respond, and build relationship to others. Now, let me be straight with this, leaders. Let me be straight. If you have some people today in your life, in your business that you don't understand, maybe people who betrayed you, people who lied to you, people who told, told you something that is not good, I'm telling you, people who did something, who, who bring pains to you, who bring pain, suffering to you, I'm telling you this. If you have someone you don't understand today, this is what I want you to understand. One of the basic principles in life that I want to share with you right now is this. Every person's behavior, every person's actions and response is coming from their best available resource. Again, let me repeat. Every person's action, every person's behavior is always coming from their best available resource. That's where they pick resources to decide. That's where they pick resources to take action. And most of their resources are coming from their programming, coming from their patterns, coming from their experience, successes, and failures. And that's why if you have somebody that you don't understand, always remember they are coming from something. All right? Always remember they are coming from something so you can open the understanding for them. In Tagalog, in our language in Filipino, lahat ng tao may hugot. Kaya pag may hindi ka maintindihan sa grupo mo, sa mga leaders mo, sa prospect mo, napaka-negative nila. I'm telling you, they are not negative about your business. Your prospects are not negative people. Some of you may give them a title already. My wife is negative. My husband is negative. My neighbors are negative. They are not negative people. They just have a negative perception about your business. And your job is to see the bigger picture as leaders and guide them to see what you saw. Guide them to hear what you heard. Guide them to perceive what you perceive. 
right? Remember the story of the elephant and the six blind men, right? All of these people don't know. They don't know what is what the description of an elephant is, is in a bigger picture. One blind man is holding the tusks of the elephant, and he's describing an elephant. An elephant is like a spear, right? The other one is holding the trunk, and he was describing the elephant as if the elephant is like the elephant is like a big snake. The other one is holding the ears, and he was describing the elephant as if the elephant is like a blanket. <laughs> the other one is holding the body. The elephant is like a wall, right? Now, what I want to say is this. The question is this. Is there someone wrong in all of them? The answer is no. There is no one wrong in those six blind men. All of them are correct coming from their own perception. They describe the elephant correctly coming from their own perspective. Are you following? So it's the same with your business, the same with your prospects. If your prospect seems that they are negative, they are not wrong. Don't debate. Don't quarrel them. It's just that your prospects have a negative perception about the business. Are you getting my point? Now again, follow me. Number two, we're nearly ending. Power of imagination. The power of imagination, if you just become clear about what you want to happen in your life, if you become clear about your visions, if you become clear about what you want to happen, I'm telling you, you will achieve it. Clarity is power. All right? Now, very shortly, very shortly, one minute. Can I have one minute? Guys, one minute. One minute, guys. I want you to close your eyes right now. Close your eyes. I want everybody, let's close our eyes. Everybody in Facebook, close your eyes right now. And I want you to imagine. Imagine you're in the middle of your kitchen. You can see the table, the refrigerator. You can see the everything in your kitchen. Imagine your kitchen right now. I want you to get a glass of empty water. I want you to get a glass of empty, an empty glass. And I want you to go to your refrigerator, open it, and you will see there a bunch of yellow, fat, juicy lemon, right? And what I want you to do is this. Come on, close your eyes. Everybody in Facebook, right? I want you to get this lemon, get one lemon, and then go find a knife. Come on, close your eyes. Everybody, let's assess how powerful your mind is. All right? And then you slice this lemon in the middle. Carefully, carefully slice it. Very good. You see the juice coming out. And I want you to go to the glass. Hold that lemon, go to the glass, and squeeze it. Squeeze it hard. You'll see the seeds coming out with the juice. And I want you to put the lemon on the trash, and I want you to get that glass with lemon juice. I want you to zip a bit of it. Come on, zip it, zip. Close your eyes and zip that lemon. Come on, zip it. Avoid the seeds. Now, ladies and gentlemen, open your eyes. Who amongst you salivated? If you salivated, guys, what I want to tell you is that's how powerful your mind is. Your brain doesn't know the difference of reality and imagination. Are you getting my point? So if you can just focus on imagining your, your aspirations, your dreams, your goals, and you become clear about it, clarity is power. It will manifest into your life. And last but not the least, the power of anchor. You know, if you've seen a ship, anchors are, 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 uh, are designed actually to, to, uh, to avoid or um, you know, help the ship not to drift away because of waves, because of wind, and because of storms. Now my question for you is this. If you want to become successful this 2021, I want you to release the inner power of your anchor. Find your reason. Your anchor is your deepest why, your compelling why. The deeper, the bigger, the heavier your anchor is, the faster and the surer you will achieve your dreams this 2021 with Economy Driver Plan 2.0 and Empowered Consumerism. Guys, the three powerful pa inner powers that you have. There's a lot of this, but we'll talk about that for the whole year of 2021. The three major powers, power of perception, the power of imagination, of clarity, and the power of your anchors. Ladies and gentlemen, as we end, the only way to break through from your internal barriers is by applying your own inner power. Thank you very much, guys. A happy, happy new year. This is your international trainer, Miko Emson, and we will see more, grow more this year of 2021. Happy new year. Happy kickoff day. God bless.